This house is a shell of a home that was once bursting with laughter and unconditional love. It towers on a hill, like the pedestal I used to stand on. Great windows in every room provided the perfect lighting for my pencil sketches and colorful pictures. Windows that revealed to us our vibrant, lively backyard. I felt like a little bug in a meadow of grass when I played in what seemed to be the biggest playground on earth. As a little girl, I used to hang my drawings from the fridge door, securing them with strong and mighty magnets, standing on my tippy toes, proud of the work that I produced. Gradually, my pictures disappeared, either thrown in the trash or to be rediscovered in a folder deep within a closet, tucked under other forgotten things. As the school years go by, my little brother's yearbook photos pop up on the fridge walls. Eventually, they cover most of it, and every time I go to get something out of the fridge, his innocent and young smiles make me proud. Shelves used to be lined with books that captivated me, with adventures into the afterlife and enchanted castles. Now they are replaced with practice packets for a test that will determine my future. And enchanted castles in the real world look like imposing skyscrapers filled with depressing cubicles. When there's a heat wave, my family has to close all the windows and blinds to reflect the heat back into the bubble outside our house. Even then, the temperature in the house would still be around 85 degrees. It feels like an oven, ready to burn me for all the sins I've committed. The intoxicating heat would suffocate me, turning my worry and anger into perspiration. My resentment for the thick walls grew. They radiated heat and threatened to control me forever. Walls that were supposed to protect me. These walls were supposed to keep me from the problems of the world, keep me from going insane. Instead, I tried to keep talking to the walls, but they don't respond. They stay up, blocking me from the view of the outside world. I can see a peak of it through my window with all of its beautiful oceans to cool me down, and promises for change. I realize I am dreaming when I step back and the walls have been up this whole time. Sometimes happiness comes in waves. It washes over the rocks, rubbing them smooth, becoming something new. But for me, I used to hate the beach. Sand gets in uncomfortable places, the sun beats down on you too hard, the wind blows your hair in all directions, the waves crashing are loud and obnoxious. When my friends planned a day at the beach, I imagined the worst scenario playing out. I would be so uncomfortable just sitting there on my towel, while everyone else enjoyed themselves. I was horrified thinking about it. I remember on that day, I was sitting on the sand with my board shorts, remembering the day when I was seven years old, the pool at my cousin's house. The feeling of the water swallowing me whole. The same suffocating feeling, but different this time. The gulp of air I heavily breathed in when my older cousin held my hand and pulled me out. As sudden as a wave crashing, this feeling of wanting to go into the water washes over me. But I didn't expect to go into the water. I feel restrained because I didn't pack an extra shirt. And I don't want to feel naked. I refuse to let other people see parts of myself that I'm too ashamed of. My arms, my shoulders, my chest. I had been told so many things about showing my body that I'll be stared at, that a proper woman only wears certain things. But I decided to let my walls come down, to experience the water in the bright sunshine, to let the breezes carry away the scorching, blistering heat off my skin from living in that house. I remember the immediate breeze that blew away all my worries rush across my chest as I took off my shirt. That breeze made me grateful to be here. I was thankful for Bethany's mom for driving me there, for the sun and the wind, for the fresh air. I emerged from the water as a new person, free from all judgment. The land was safer, but it was not my home. <laughs>